time ago, but not so long after the creation of the world, there was a young man who lived in a village far away. His name was Akban. He was called Akban because he was the first and only son of his parents. But he had two other siblings who were girls. Akban was very lazy. In fact, he was not even bothered about his laziness. Akwan would wake up in the morning, eat, and sit under the mango tree in front of their house all day, watching people go about their businesses and gossiping with his friends when they came visiting. He knows the latest happenings in town. He was busy minding other people's businesses and paid very little attention to the fact that he was becoming a nuisance. Akwan's parents cared so much for him as a child. In fact, they spoiled him silly with everything he needed. He never did any domestic chores, nor followed his father to the farm. Instead, the girls were made to do all of that. He was pampered so much just because he was an only son. Now we know why he grew up to become very lazy. Why his mates were busy working and making money to take care of their parents, Akwan was busy feeding from his parents. Yes, he was still living off his parents. He depended on them for food, clothes, for practically everything. People always looked at him as a good-for-nothing young man. And some would shake their heads and say when they see him, Dear Lord, may I never have a son like this? He frequently got into fights and arguments with people. And none of these arguments or fights would end without someone calling him useless or good for nothing. He hated those two phrases. In fact, he hated that they had to always compare him with his friend Okon, who had become very successful. Akwan liked a particular girl in the village. Eno was very beautiful and well behaved and everybody in the village liked her. And so one day, Akban saw her coming back from the village stream and walked up to her. <clears throat> Let me help you carry your water pot, he offered. No, thank you. If you wish to carry a water pot, hurry down the stream. Your mother has gone to fetch some water from the stream. You should go and collect the water pot from her. Anyway, Akban continued, I've been meaning to tell you something. I really like you a lot, you know. And I will want to marry you, if you don't mind. I see that you are a very good girl and very hardworking too. Please let me know what you think about my proposal. I appreciate that you want to marry me. But tell me, how will you take care of a family when you are not doing anything to help yourself? Do you know how people see you? Everyone thinks you are useless and good for nothing. And I don't want to marry someone like that. Maybe one day when you change, then I can consider your proposal. Eno replied. Akman was very sad. He watched as Eno continued down the road. Good for nothing useless those words resounded in his head he would not sleep the whole night what do i do now i need to change i no longer want to be called useless or good for nothing he thought to himself he stayed up all night thinking then a thought came to his head aha I will go to the powerful old witch doctor in the middle of the forest. He has the power to make anything happen. In that way, he will make me useful and good for something. The witch doctor is known all over the village to be very powerful. Some even say he could be a spirit being for living alone in the middle of the forest, among animals and different kinds of things. The next morning, Akwan set out really early to see the wise old witch doctor. It took him half the day to get to the witch doctor's shrine. What has brought you here, my son? The witch doctor asked. I have come in peace, wise one, 
with just one wish. I am so sad and I don't know what to do. But I know you can help me, wise one. Everyone thinks I am useless and good for nothing. And I have come to ask that you make me useful and good for something. For I know that you are strong and powerful and can do anything that is asked of you. Well said, my son. Why don't you change the situation yourself? Uh, you have two hands, two legs. You are a complete man. Why don't you go back and work hard and change the situation yourself? The old man probed. Ah, wise one. Uh, that will take a long time. And if you can do it, why do I need to struggle? I have very little time. For I have seen a woman that I wish to marry. But I must be useful and good for something before she can say yes to me. Alright, the old man said and went into his inner shrine. He brought out a brown clay pot with a black cover and gave it to Akman. Take this pot, my son. Take it home with you. Keep it very safe and wait till sun goes down tomorrow. Then go into your room alone, lock the door and open the pot. You will understand the rest when it happens. Oh, thank you so much, wise one, Akpan said excitedly as he took the pot from the old man and started back home. Midway in the forest, he became curious. What could be in this pot? He thought. And why do I have to wait till tomorrow before I can open it? He heard a still small voice saying, Why don't you wait till you get home and follow all the instructions? He battled with his thoughts and finally he decided, What difference does it make whether I open it today or tomorrow? Here in the forest or at home in my room? And now, the sun has gone down already, as advised by the wise one. E, let me open this pot and become useful at once. He immediately opened the pot, and suddenly, there was a great flash. Akpan began to transform from his legs and began to grow into a big tree. By the time the transformation was completed, he had become a palm tree. The old man saw what had happened from his shrine. No, not with his physical eyes, but with his spiritual eyes. He felt bad for Akman. He warned him. He really did. He gave him instructions. <sighs> but he didn't hit to any of it. Anyway, hmm, a palm tree. Well, he still became very useful and good for something. For the palm tree is known to be very useful. Let's take a look at it. Oil is gotten from the palm fruit and the chaff is used to light up fire. The palm kernels produce oil used for different purposes. The palm frond is used for roofing, fencing and broom making. When the palm tree dies, there is the palm tree weevil gotten from the inner soft part of the palm tree. The palm tree weevil is consumed in different parts of Nigeria and is reputed to be very nutritious and delicious. And the tree itself is used for firewood. Little wonder the palm tree is seen as one of the most useful trees in the entire forest. <laughs>